Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Ausenbaugh. And I'm Joshua Wright. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The county okay pay raises for deputies. The St. Mary's County Commissioners approved a salary schedule for Sheriff's Office employees and agreed to move forward with the process of increasing the rescue tax rate requested by the 7th District Volunteer Rescue Squad at the 4th Budget Work Session on Tuesday. After the commissioners approved an 11% annual increase for St. Mary's Correctional Officers last November to achieve pay parity with Charles County Correctional Officers, effective January 1st, St. Mary's Sheriff Tim Cameron, Republican, submitted a request for an 18% salary increase for St. Mary's deputies to be effective March 6th. This request was voted down in December. Catherine Pratson, director of the county's Department of Human Resources, was present Tuesday to address the request for pay parity with Maryland State Police for St. Mary's Sheriff's deputies. According to Pratt, since warning in law enforcement budget is expected to increase by over $3 million because of the new pay scale increases. Union members at St. Mary's College of Maryland received a pay increase last fall, but the union's president said it's not enough. St. Mary's College rolled out a few initiatives during its latest Board of Trustees meeting in February, and meeting minutes revealed the school also has successful union negotiations with the college's American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees of AFSCME, Council 3, Local 3980 Chapter. The negotiations process was concluded last November after several months and resulted in a 2% increase for all union members. That raised the lowest salary on campus to $27,040. The St. Mary's County Commissioners reviewed budget requests from elected officials for fiscal 2021, including those from the state's attorney office, at the fourth budget work session on Tuesday. Jody Kwasny, Deputy Director of Finance for the county, directed commissioners to look over the master list of essential cost change requests made by various county departments for fiscal 2021. Additional essential cost changes requests totaled over $230,000. Commissioner Eric Colvin asked if funding for the district court carpet replacement, costing $14,448, could come from the $735,000 fund balance from fiscal 2020, with Rebecca Bridget County Administrator saying that it can since it's a non-recurring cost. Now turning to sports. Great Mills Girls Basketball won the 3A South Region Championship against North Point. The Hornet Girls went into the game hoping for a win against North Point after losing the last two times the team played. The game ended 42-36 with the Hornets leading in the first half and successfully beating a comeback attempt by the Eagles in the second half. Post-game, Great Mills senior guard Kyla Daniels said, we knew going in that it was going to be a good game. Our coach drew up a game plan and we all just followed and executed it to win the game. The St. Mary's College of Maryland men's and women's tennis teams have enjoyed some pleasant weather at the start of its 2020 spring season and are hoping to serve up success on the courts as well. Last season, the men's team finished with a record of 5-12 overall, but the Seahawks returned five starters and eight players from last year's squad under head coach Greg Shedd, who is in his fourth season at the helm of the men's and women's programs. Seahawks senior John Goro says about the team, I definitely think this is the strongest lineup we've had in my college career, and I can't wait for the rest of the season. Goro says in terms of team goals, we've all been working on our doubles and are really hoping to see that work pay off throughout the season. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. I'm Lucas Ausenbaugh. And I'm Joshua Wright. Signing off.